The CBD gummy start to feel funny. Oh. It. A kid would spit that out. Tastes like a watermelon firework. I hated that. The other one was a lot better. What the fuck was that? I don't know if I've ever been like this deeply offended by something that's called candy before. That one's a solid no from me, brother. What the fuck? All right, what up, guys? We're back at it with some Fable of the Lost chapters. And this, of course, is my retrospective playthrough series where we just kind of play the game and see how it holds up overall in the year 2022. But yeah, in the last video, we did some money making and uh, made our way down to Oakvale, which is always a nice, good start to make. And again, this is something that I personally love about this game over the other game is this whole like two sides of the coin thing you get like even when it comes to like deciding which quest to choose it's like you can literally choose two different versions of the same quests oftentimes where it's like oh do the evil thing or do the good thing and it's not just like some simple decision like oh you're doing a bad thing instead of a good thing like usually it's like literally a completely different quest it's like this these two quests are inverse of each other like that's awesome like you don't really run into that in any of the other fable games as far as I remember, at least. But these are like quite literally inverses of the same quest. Like one, it's like you get to be with the fucking guards who are attacking the, the fucking the bandits. And then the other, it's like you literally get to be with the same bandits that the guards were attacking the other time. But now you're attacking the guards. It's fucking cool. Honestly, it is. It's too bad you can't just like switch up in the middle. Of it. That would be even cooler. But anyways, it does give you like some amount of like it's like the game coaxes you into doing the evil thing, which I think is fucking hilarious. It's like, dude, aren't you sure you don't want to be evil, dude? We'll give you more money if you're evil. Which, like, I think is also, like, fairly accurate, to be honest. Like, that's like the fucking, uh... That's basically like the devil on your shoulder, you know, trying to give you fucking bad ideas. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Trying to convince you, like, Oh, come on, dude, you'll get more money if you kill them. Like, that type of shit. Let's, uh, might as well check out the boasts real quick. <clears throat> I think I did mention that in the last video. Let's see what we got for boasts on this one. Anything actually worth doing? Good God, what's happening right now? I don't think I've ever had the game lag like that before. No healing, fist fighter without a scratch, no protection. No protection is always an easy one. Yeah, what the fuck right now is honestly happening with that? Huh. It's not good. Why is it doing that? Is this doing it too? Not really. I almost wonder if I go. Fucking assholes. There's no point in having it synced to 100 fucking frames, because why would you fucking do that? Do we have 90 at least? No. Fuck. Oh, have zero fucking multiples of fucking 60. How about that? Yeah, I almost feel like the weird like screen flashies like immediately went away. See how this works out though. We want more. Oh, well, it's still like a little sluggish for some reason. Not really sure what that's all about. But it's definitely faster, that's for sure. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, really cool feature from the first game that for some reason they just didn't put in the second or the third game. Like, like little extra challenges for the quests. Like, why not, right? So you're going to be doing some work down oh, great. The farm, are you? In case you didn't hate the only black character Tell enough. I'm going to pick up the Let's other pitch you against her and, and make it competitive. Better <laughs> oh, better friends. Yeah, that'll happen. You'll need all the experience you can get to beat me. That's exactly what the See game it? intended. The game totally intended for you guys to become great friends. As she sits here and like fucking insults you while you say nothing. I didn't even grow up on a farm. What the fuck? I grew up in a fucking house, bro. There was no farm involved. Why am I a farm boy? because I'm a white boy like what's up with that honestly like how the fuck am I a farm boy so what I don't understand is like supposedly she takes the opposite side of the quest but you don't see her during the quest like regardless of which side you choose you never actually see fucking whisper during this quest so like is she actually doing the other one oh, son of a bitch I forgot that I hate this one because it means I have to like take my clothes off it's actually kind of shitty that was fucking easy I kind of forgot that I have like a really good sword now. That's nice. Oh, that's fucking yeah, that's right. We're supposed to actually get the boxes. That's right. To do. Watch my back. This bag was made for watching. You're, gonna, you're not gonna grab one too. That's fucking lame. You just you're literally just gonna tag along and do nothing. That's cool. What are you gonna jack him off too? What are you doing, dude? 
I was gonna have a fucking circle jerk later. Why do you need to be there too? Cover me while I get the crate. Hey, whoa, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. It looked like you were about to try to do the juke move and go around me there, buddy. No, no. Ooh, should I dig up right here? I wonder what would happen if I dug up right here. I feel like they're gonna pull some fucking bullshit and come out of there. Oh, no, there they are. Oh, you guys better run. You guys better run. He's gonna drop the crate. Oh, no. Oh, the music. That's what's missing. What happened to the music? the only way you're going to get close to me. What did happen to the music? To There's that music. Yeah, the music volume's up. <clears throat> hit me with the flourish. So you can do it. I'm still going to. Wap, wap, rap. Wap. You killed Whisper. You beat me again. I suppose this she looks like a fucking Sith thing. Lord with that hood on right now. Like what? Stay lucky forever, farm boy. It's almost like it's foreshadowing that she's again. technically evil or something. I love how she's got titties out too, just like Paige. Please, let us go. No shit, that's right. I was antagonizing this guy. I totally just forgot. Do I kill him or something? What happens? Oh, wait, no. I'm all right. That wasn't too bad. I just realized though. Oh, fuck. They don't have any good weapons. Why did I just go there? Although, to be fair, I think I spent all of my money on the sword anyway, or at least most of it, so I probably need more. So I might as well buy this house here. I gotta say, if there's one thing that the other Fable games did actually improve on, it's the whole housing system. Like, that's that's definitely one thing that unequivocally is better in the other Fable games, is just the housing system in general. Like, like not just, like, the real estate aspect of it, but, like, every aspect of houses was better in Fable 2 and 3. I mean, just like their their overall utility for like, you know, marriage and children obviously is a lot higher. Yeah, you know, it just kind of seems like more stuff comes with the house in Fable 2 and 3. Like, I don't know, the houses like overall seem like bigger and more detailed, right? Obviously more detailed, but like more detailed is in like what's in them. It seems like the houses in this game, you walk in and it's like, all right, buddy, there's a bed and a shelf, dude. Like, what the fucking fuck? This is a house? In Fable 2 and 3, the houses actually fucking feel like houses and you can like actually decorate them like not just like upgrade the look but like actually fucking decorate them. like with like wallpapers and shit like that like you can fucking like customize your house like it's the goddamn sims or something but yeah with like the houses in this in the uh, fable two and three it's like not only just the utility of the houses but like you know just the real estate in general is like a lot better like you kind of had real estate in this game you could make a teeny tiny amount of money in this game doing real estate but it was always like super fucking negligible honestly and took so fucking long. Like, you actually had to wait, like, full fucking game days. It wasn't like, oh, every five minutes you get paid. It's like, no, like, you gotta wait for, like, the fucking literal game clock to go to the next day. And then you have to literally run town to town, house to house, collecting this shit. Like, like literally physically collecting it individually from each house. Like, holy fuck. Real estate in the first fable is, like, a little bit too fucking, like, realistic, you know? Okay, Master Schlongbow. I feel like I hardly did anything evil yet, and people are, like, legitimately fucking scared of me already. I probably still haven't bought any will stuff yet. I almost kind of want to, like, do some real estate just for, like, old-time nostalgia's sake, you know? Like, that's just straight up one of the things I don't do in this game, at least not anymore, is, like, try to do the whole real estate thing. So maybe we'll fucking do a little bit of that. Why not? See, like, really how much money you can make from real estate in this game? I mean, I'm sure it's fucking written down somewhere, so it's, like, not like I really have to test it, but, like, still be fun to test it. Oh, no, the flickering is definitely still there. Man, I was, like, pretty sure the flickering was a V-Sync thing. Definitely not. There gotta be some stupid fucking effect that's doing that, that's for sure. Also, in my opinion, it's just, like, a lot easier to take care of this, like, here and now. Damn, you get a lot of evil points for that. Holy shit. But yeah, typically I kill that guy just because he's like more trouble than he's worth. Like, uh, he literally does just kind of slow you down. Plus, I can never like quite remember how it goes, but I'm pretty sure he like eventually turns if you like do something wrong or something. So it's kind of just overall better to like kill him right away so he doesn't turn into a fucking Balverine. Oh, and by the way, lightning is the best thing for that. Oh, yeah, the other thing too is the Chapel of Scorm. Now, again, with Fable 2. A little hazy on the memory. I think Fable 2 actually did have the Chapel of Scorn, if I remember correctly. But Fable 3, like, pretty much didn't. Like, they have that, like, kind of weird dark sanctum place, whatever the fuck it's called, where you can, like, barbecue people. 
Which I guess is kind of clowning in its own right or whatever, but it's not the Chapel of Scorn, dude. It doesn't have that same, like, evil feel to it, really. And of course, with, like, how whimsical that whole game is, like, it really just feels more whimsical than anything. It just feels like some British dude's telling a joke about murder, like, whereas in this game, like, the Chapel of Scorn, it felt like evil people were doing evil things and you were in an evil place. Like, everything about it just, like, felt evil and dark. Quite literally in Fable 3, it's like, oh, if you want to have a barbecue, you can bring anybody you want here. We'd love to see it. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Fucking hate this guy though, 100%. Man, for a second I thought this was like Fable 3 and I tried to like double tap spacebar to roll. Not quite the way it works. That's right, you just get to throw shit through fucking, like, trees and shit, because that makes hella sense. Oh, and it didn't even hit me, but it hit me. That makes hella sense. There's always, like, a it didn't hit you, but it hit you clause with these types of games. It didn't hit the tree, that's three times your diameter, but, uh, it hit you some fucking how. Alright, this is the one. This is the one. I probably should- probably should've just used my sword on that one, honestly. Ah! Uh, Maze waits for you in the tavern. Again. My question, though, is Maze like an alcoholic or some shit? Why is he literally always trying to meet me at the bar? Uh, oh, chop, how about you meet me at the pub for some drinks? Like, what the fuck, dude? I thought you were like my mentor. What happened? Now, sadly, there's only really one way to go about doing this. And I honestly don't know if I could do it in secret. Nobody saw that, right? As long as nobody saw that, I think we're good. Uh-oh. Oof. Oh, he saw that. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You're probably gonna try to lock yourself inside, and I don't like that. Fuck. It sucks. I'm pretty sure this is definitely a shop owner's house. Oh, that's right. We can't... We can't just, like, pretend to die in this game. We have to, like, actually die. Oops. That's not what I wanted. I love how these guards just, like, can't quite figure it out. They're, like, really, really trying to get me, but they just can't. There we go. <clears throat> now we're living that good life. Just realize I'm running out of money here. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, boy. All right, so now that I fucked myself out of a money-making method for now, I'm gonna have to start coming here for money-making. Oh, I forget that Guile, like, makes you make more money. All right. Definitely, definitely prefer the teleport system from this game, that's for sure. I mean, like, the fast travel is, like, kind of alright in Fable 3. I kind of forget what it's like in Fable 2. But, like, at the same time, it's like... I feel like you can't really get places that you need to go in Fable 3. Like, you can almost get there, but it seems like you're always, like... You're always, like, spawning at, like, the opposite side of the map or some shit. And then you still have to use, like, your clairvoyance and fight, like, 30 fucking enemies just to get where you're trying to go because you just don't know where you're going. I don't know. It's just kind of lame overall. Like, I feel like in this game, like, the teleports tend to be, like, in the most, like, important and useful locations. And if they're not, like, it's usually, like, a quick jog to wherever you're trying to get to. And even though you have to walk, it's like, you have a mini-map and the maps are very small, so it's not, like, a fucking... It's not anything big. It's like, okay, I'm gonna have to walk five to ten seconds in that direction to get to the next area, and then I'm there. Like, okay. Whereas, like, Fable 3, it's like, okay, we're gonna tell you, teleport you to, like, fucking nowhere near where you wanted to go. Good luck finding where you're going. We'll give you this fucking little golden trail that'll, like, disappear every 12 seconds. And then, uh, if there's enemies on screen, you're just fucked, basically, right? Which, if you've played Fable 3, you would know that that's literally all the fucking time. There's never not fucking enemies on the screen when it comes to Fable 3, that is. Anyways, so I think that's probably about it for this video. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. It definitely helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any of my other gaming content for that matter. And, of course, as always, for as little as 99 cents a month, you can become a channel member, help support this channel monetarily, help me pay some bills around here, that sort of thing. Yeah, with that being said, it's been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable of the Lost Chapters, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.